Hi friends, I am Dr. Pranshu Vishnoi, consultant orthopedic at Manipal Hospital Gurugram. Today we are going to talk about surgery which is known as a total hip arthroplasty or total hip replacement surgery. So just we need to discuss what is total hip replacement. There are many myths regarding this, many fears in the pub common public and in patient's mind regarding a hip replacement surgery. So what is hip replacement surgery? and who people require it and how the surgery is done and how the recovery happens. So what is the surgery? Total hip replacement surgery is that when we change the ball and the socket. So it is when the replacement of the ball and socket of a hip joint is to be done for certain people who have severe arthritis or very bad fractures which are irreparable. So usually total hip replacement surgery also is not dependent upon the age. Sometimes as young as 20, 25 years people with a very bad hip require a total hip replacement or sometimes a person who is around 60, 70. And what is the purpose of total hip replacement is to give a pain free mobile hip joint so that the person can walk around, do all activities, routine activities, people can drive, go back to their life as soon as possible. Now who will require this surgery? Somebody who has very bad hip arthritis either due to old injuries or recently we have seen post covid with people who are taking steroids for a longer period during that period are coming to us with a condition which is known as avn hip avn is avascular necrosis of hip which means that the blood supply to the hip gets affected over a number of months or years and ultimately the hip becomes arthritic and bad so those people require a hip replacement surgery and also how the surgery is done. The surgery takes around an hour to one and a half for the surgical period. The stay in the hospital is around three to four days. One day prior to surgery, we admit the patient. And the very next day, the patient is walking. There are some myths that after hip replacement, you can't do certain activities. That's also not true. People can drive, people can climb stairs, people can play sport. And with the kind of implant, which is known as ceramic on poly or metal on poly, these are world-class uh, surfaces which changing the way the hip replacement works and on an average as we can see in the hip centers in the world the average life of a ceramic on poly is considered to be 30 to 35 years so that's a big period when the patient is pain free and absolutely mobile also certain activities we ask the patient to avoid doesn't mean the patient can't do it certain activities like squatting on the floor like using an indian toilet or sometimes using a very low chair these need to be avoided as much as possible but in certain conditions if the patient has to do it he can do it absolutely no problem the surgery recovery also is very good because of the muscles around the hip the suture removal happens, stitches which are removed around 10 to 14 days after surgery. The patient is mobile the very next day with the help of a physiotherapy regime and he will require some kind of assistance for initial 2 to 4 weeks and absolutely unassisted walking around 3 to 4 weeks after surgery. Also the recovery is quite early and a hip replacement person can go back to driving as early as 6 weeks. So if somebody is concerned regarding that that is also possible. So these are the things and the failure rates are quite less with modern uh, anesthesia, modern OT procedures and modern implants, the failure rates are less than one to two percent. Thank you.